So you guys are gonna love our next guest. He got his start in Chicago building a music journalism website that's called Pop Stash. For all you mustache people, I'm sure it's your number one source See for music lot, journalism. Yeah. He's also the co-host at the ATX web show and he moved to Austin to start this FU Weekend. We're gonna maybe find out what those uh, initials are for a little bit later here, but let's first give a big round of applause to Andy Kyle. Thank you very much for coming out. This is, this All right. is great. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm glad you dressed up. Yeah, I paint on t-shirt. I, I like that. I couldn't find my tux. It's like those muscle shirts, you know? Like, yeah. Here, tell us about what's going on in Austin versus downtown Vegas. So I don't have enough experience with downtown Vegas yet, but uh, I spent five years in Chicago, and when I got to Austin, they welcomed me with open arms. It was awesome. Uh, everybody asked, or they said, how can we help you, which blew my freaking mind. Uh, I, I didn't realize that I was coming to Vegas for a, a couple weeks ago, and we were like, yeah, screw it, we'll come. Okay. Uh, and instead of just sort of serendipitous, how did it come yeah, about? Yeah, yeah, just, uh, well, there's a hunting conference in town. We're working on a hunting project. Oh, good. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll see where that goes. Get, um, get those deer, yeah. But we also, like, I... Just <laughs> <laughs> kidding. Or whatever, whatever you're hunting, I don't know. Okay, sure. Snipes. Okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, I wish I knew it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. So yeah, we uh, I, I just I came into town. I, I know a lot of people in the community. Uh, a friend runs One Million Cups uh, out of Kansas City. Okay. And it's in a bunch of other cities as well. Maybe Vegas soon. I hear. Cool. Wow. Well, 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 well. um, and I, I just kind of said, who should I know in Vegas? And they put me in touch with a handful of people. And I ended up here. <laughs> right. Awesome. That's, like, it's called serendipity. We yeah, titled yeah, that, but it's. But it's uh, so so yeah, you guys really were just totally available and wanted to to show me around, which is fantastic. Good, I like it. Okay, so you are a co-founder for hire, is what you title yourself as. So you love you love going from the nothing stage to the something stage, and then starting over again. Tell me about <laughs> tell me about what your title means, co-founder for hire, uh, and where you got it from. So it really kind of came out of uh, I did a lot of freelancing when I was in Chicago, and I got got to Austin, and I I worked at a, an agency that did a lot of uh, early stage startup work. And I love that, it was a lot of fun, but I didn't want to have to marry an idea. I wanted to come in at kind of like the strategy side of things and help them as much as possible, and then kind of move on to the next the next stage and make sure they had the, the right employees and the, the right strategy in place to grow. But I didn't really want to have to be responsible for it. Okay, I got you. Like you just wanted to be able to kind of jump around and pursue yeah, your yeah, curiosities I, inside a company. And yeah, I like contracting. Okay, no, I think I mean I think a lot of people here are in that same boat. It's a lot of fun. So um, now let's talk about this FU weekend. This seems to be a huge thing in Austin, and I want to know where it came from, maybe what it stands for, <laughs> and. Uh, what the advantages are of it. We'll get to what it stands for. Okay. <laughs> uh, it really came out of, uh, so I, I owe my excitement about the startup scene to Startup Weekend. I don't know about the rest of you, but. Uh, startup Weekend? Uh, yes. Yeah. So I, I started there. Uh, I did it once, and I, you know, I, I got excited about my own ideas, and I never went back to Startup Weekend to really work on anything. And I, I found a lot of friends were mentoring there, and, and uh, I got really excited about the fact that they brought in such awesome mentors. And so when I got to Austin, I asked a friend, Keith Casey, who, uh, he was a dev evangelist at Twilio at the time. And I was like, what, what's Austin missing? I want to start an event. I want to be part of the community, but I don't want to overlap. I don't want to step on anybody's toes. Okay. And he started talking about all the hackathons that were happening. There's tons and everybody's starting these new ideas and they're getting really excited and they're building all this really cool shit. And it just dies and it's like done. And that to me is kind of a travesty. Uh, I start a ton of different projects. I don't go to Startup Weekend because I have enough projects that I've already started. I just need to finish something. <laughs> right. So you'd rather help those things not die right off the right. bat, but get a little bit more yeah. traction. So FU Weekend really came about from that conversation. I was like, man, I, I really just want to finish something that I've started. I would feel so much better to finish one of the 10 projects that I'm working on than to start <laughs> the 13th. Yeah, uh, and, I'm sure a lot of people could agree with that, yeah. Yeah, so it kind of like, I was really excited after that conversation and I, I got back, I was working at Handsome at the time, I got back and I talked to a few of the designers and developers there and I was like, hey, what do you guys think about this? And they're like, oh yeah, it's kind of cool. So we put together a mobile responsive site and Austin does this really awesome thing in the winter called the Austin Web Bash where all the meetups come together and they throw one big party with like an $8,000 hmm. bar tab. It's 
amazing. You guys should start that. Tell us more about it. How does this work? It's amazing. Like, uh, <laughs> let's see. There's like the all the developer meetups, all the designer meetups, all the entrepreneur meetups. Everybody just gets together and throws down for one night, and it's really great. Okay. So definitely do that. I'm you guys come back. To, you guys down to do a big party? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Start. We'll get it there. Yeah. Uh, and at the end of that, we had like 30 people signed up by the end of the night, and uh, you know we spent way too much money. Oh, you got them, you got them drunk over. and signed them up. Yeah, like yeah, the, exactly. like, yeah, yeah. Like I just like, like, the, the, like the British yeah, used to do to get you into the army, right? Yeah. Okay, it's fantastic. Yeah. You just put the phone in front of people and you say, "What's your email?" Address? <laughs> right. Uh, and and so that kind of really validated the idea. And I was like, "Wow, there there might actually be an event here." And you know, three months later, we, we had FU weekend. We were really flying by the seat of our pants. The, we had Josh Long come in, and uh, instead of getting him a hotel, I had him stay in, like, one of my extra bedrooms in my place, which was really awesome. But I, re I look back at that and think how unprofessional it was. <laughs> but it was a lot of fun. We had, we had a blast. Um, we had oh, good, over yeah. 60 people show up. We finished over 20 projects. One of them made uh, the number one on Hacker News for, for a day. Oh, that's great, yeah. One of them yeah. went trending on AngelList just a couple weeks ago yeah it's cool okay so tell me about uh, and I know this is this is always a tough question so it's kind of a personal answer to it but when you talk about the Austin culture like what is it uh, if you break it down a little bit more refined that that sticks out well I think the I think there's two things the first thing that I noticed once I got there is that people don't work until 10 or 11 o'clock at night which was becoming that's when work starts Chicago. Yeah. Okay. And when do they wake up? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> no, okay, no. Yeah, Austin, yeah. Austin, Austin, Austin's great. Uh, no, just... People at six o'clock, you can basically you can send out a tweet or you know text a few friends and be like, hey, who wants to do happy hour? And you're gonna probably get more people than you ask for, and it's really great. It's 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 a really fun community. Everybody's supportive. I get a lot of. Uh, in Chicago, people were really stand off, standoffish. It was very like we're competing with each other. Like either it's either you or me. Uh, and in Austin, I have sat down with direct competitors and said, "How do you do this?" And they would give me an honest answer. And okay, that's, so it's kind of that feeling of growing the pie more than stealing yeah, a slice. Yeah. Kind Every, of uh, kind of everybody yeah. rises together rather than we all rise alone. How you're paying for it and how it's like kind of sustainable? Oh, I guess would be the interesting part. Uh, yeah. So where it started, it was very like, well, we'll just see if this works and see if people come in and be excited about it. And the 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 coolest thing for me was watching all the conversations happen after a few weekends. So on Twitter, all the new friends and relationships that were made, people are still talking to this day. And now that we're having the second one, we have a ton of alumni coming back <laughs> for it. And, you know, they're flying in from San Francisco and Chicago and all over the place. It's really, really fun. Um, and uh, so where it goes from here, this is the first time that it's like really legitimate where I've like gone after a lot of sponsors and said, hey, this is what it's going to be. This is exactly what it's going to look like. Do you want in or do you want out? Uh, and we've got a really good response so far. We have uh, Spanning is one of the best company, or best startups in Austin right now. So awesome. Fun size. Okay, so you said one of the things you liked a lot about Austin was how everybody said, can they help you? So is there anything that we can do to help you? Is there any URLs? Can we follow you on Twitter? Oh, Maybe we yes. could... Uh, yeah, I, I'm always Sunday on Twitter, 1S, uh, FU Weekend, and then FUWeekend.com. Okay. You guys want to give him one of our cheers? You guys remember the lyrics, right? Because <laughs> I don't think we have the lyrics. Yeah, I got to get right ready now. for us. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Give that, yeah. Give my mouth into him. To our ups and downs, we gather around and sing a drinking song. To trust in those we love the most in a place where we belong. Cheers!